Well, hello there. Welcome. So if you can't tell from today's YouTube title, we are going on to um, my everyday makeup routine. This was asked over on TikTok and I really want to make sure that you guys are getting the content that you're asking for. And I understand the lulls of, I don't want to do anything for myself anymore, ever. Depression. I feel that. But real talk. It's okay. This video is all about the basics of the everyday routine. I am going to go in depth in my everyday routine. Hope you like it. Subscribe, like this video, comment down below if there is something specific that you want to see me go over, teach, talk about, rant about, whatnot. And thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being my makeup friends and fam. I love you guys and I love it here. Sounds like I was talking into a fan. My face is fresh and clean. That is the biggest thing to starting off your everyday makeup routine is doing some sort of skincare. I don't care if it's a three-step routine where you wash your face, put on moisturizer and do an SPF. Do an SPF, please. Do an SPF. But you need to have something down. I still take the time to at least do, like I said, wash my face and moisturizer and my SPF um, because it's important. If your skin is taken care of, your skin will take care of your makeup. Does that make sense? Oh, you don't have to go as in depth as I'm going. I washed my face. I did a light exfoliation. I'm going in with a toner. And then I'm also following that up with some eye cream under my eyes because it gets dry and that's how my concealer can crease. And this just helps it not crease. And then I follow that up with a light serum, a light moisturizer. This one's actually one of my favorites at the moment. It is the Floor and B H2. Oh yeah, hydrating moisturizer. It's just nice hydrates, but it's lightweight. And then I'm actually going in with one of my favorite SPFs at the moment. It is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen from Glow Recipe. It works so well. It's a chemical and a physical sunscreen. It just looks nice underneath makeup and on its own. So I definitely recommend that. Okay, so we did the skincare. It's absorbed, we're ready. Then you wanna go in some sort of primer. I kind of like to use something that is a multi-use primer. My favorite right now is the Maybelline four-in-one perfecter. It's just glowy, it primes my skin, and it's kind of that like, hey, I work with everything type of primer. Love her, Stan. And then of course, blend it in. Now that we have our skin primed, there's a barrier between our skincare and our makeup. You wanna go in with your foundation. I have a multitude of foundation options. Some days I'll go in with the NARS Light Reflecting, the Maybelline Active Wear, um, even the Catrice True Skin. Also love the new Kosas Foundation. And then a surprising like ride or die is actually the CoverGirl Outlast. It's so good. Nobody talks about it. And then another one for my like super good skin days or I just want something heavy, I love the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. I'm gonna switch it up and I'm actually gonna go in with the CoverGirl Outlast Foundation. I have the shade 810. I put a couple pumps on the sponge. It's just a super lightweight but wears really well type of foundation and look at the coverage. I know on a day when I'm running late, I can literally throw this foundation on and not have to think about it. Those are the foundations that I keep in my personal like, okay, I need to grab this and I need to go type of stash. All right, so we have our foundation on. Next step, you would think it would be concealer. Wrong. I'm actually going to go in with contour first. For contour, I like to use a multitude of things. I'm using the KVD Mod Con Gel Contour because it's sheer and then... Again, if I mess it up, I don't feel bad about it, and I'm not like, <laughs> I mean, it. I literally just sit there with a super fluffy synthetic brush, and I just press it into my skin. Same thing with my forehead area. There we go. Structure to my face. And then a blush that I've been obsessed with is actually from Shein. It is the shade Love Cake. It's technically a liquid blush, but it has this cute little applicator. And I'm going to put three little dabs on one of the higher points of my cheekbone, almost where my contour blends in. It's just a super pretty color overall. Okay, so now that we have the framework to our face, I'm gonna go in and frame it even more with my Kosas Concealer. I have the shade 1.5C and 01N. I like to take 01N, it's my brighter concealer shade, right on this inner pocket of my under eye and a little bit there. And then I take 1.5C and I put it around these little spots just to follow up and kind of 
lightly brighten the skin. I don't want it to be super bright everywhere because then I just look super washed out and pale. And I don't want that. I'm already pale enough as it is. I'll start with those secondary highlight points first. Do the same thing on this outer eye edge. And look at how easily that cleans everything up. So that actually calls for less powder later. I don't have to sit there and bake my face or do anything excessive. And then I know for future reference, my makeup's not gonna get super cakey either. It's just an overall good time. Okay, before I blend out my under eyes, I'm actually gonna take my Ninja Set It and Forget It spray and I'm gonna do a very light mist. Do you want your makeup to be flawless all day? It's a good habit to get into, not gonna lie. Now, we'll do the under eyes. So I take my sponge, I'm gonna go right under these under eyes, and I'm kind of stamping it in that same space. And then I'm gonna work my way under the rest of the eye. Same thing on the other side, stamp it, because it's also structuring my nose without me having to go in and do any nose contour. If I brighten here, like my most inner corner of my eyes, I immediately look so much more awake. Next up, we're going in with some powders. Anyway, I'm gonna take my powder puff. This is one from a set I got off of Amazon, and I'm going to gently press it around my T-zone first, especially around my chin over my blush and bronzer, over my jawline, over my forehead. I love this powder for my forehead specifically because I never want too much powder on my forehead. I don't need a lot of powder. I don't need a lot of product in general. And this just works. And then with no extra powder, I'm pressing my under eye out. Once I've done that, then I will go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I have mine in the shade 05, the palest shade. Yeah. I'm taking that powder puff again, and I'm only brightening right in here. And then after that, I go in with powder bronzer and powder blush. I use the NARS Orgasm Blush and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Rosewood Bronzer. If you are fair, this is a beautiful bronzer shade. Beautiful. So I'm going in with this kind of dense but fluffy brush right over the edges of where I put my contour. And I'll take it over my nose, on my cheeks a little bit more. I have a very narrow face, so bringing color more inward on my face kind of makes my face look more plump. Then we're going with blush. This is the LaRousse Beauty powder brush. I like to kind of top off with that bad boy all throughout my high points and a little on the apple of my cheeks. And then I dust everything off with this super fluffy brush. Can you guess what we do next? Ah, you're right. Nimia setting spray. And then to put even more glow back into the skin, I'm going back in with my Beauty Blender and that 4-in-1 Perfector from Maybelline. And I'm gonna take a teensy tiny bit, press it on my hand first, and then go on to my high points. Look at that glow, like are you kidding? It's so good, babe. So good. I don't know why I did that. What do I do for brows? Not much. Not much, ever. I take this LaRousse Beauty eyebrow brush. She's a favorite. Um, it, <sighs> And then I take some Got To Be Glued hairspray. And then I just brush through my brow hairs. Yep. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> this step just helps get the excess product off of my brows so I don't have to go in. Um, if you want an actual like brow tutorial when I'm doing my brows, let me know and I can have that up as well. For eyes, I also like to keep it super simple. Um, what I've been doing lately is going in with my Natasha Denota 5 Pan Smoky Gray Palette. This palette literally just gives me my like 90s fantasy and I live for it. But before anything, I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm actually going in with my bronzer, the same Anastasia one, and I'm taking a light wash of that bronzer throughout right at the divot of my brow, right where it starts, into my nose and then into my crease. 
that just kind of gives a little bit of a framework to your eyes and your eyeshadow. So if you run out of time, you're like, shit, I gotta get in the car and I gotta go, um, you'll be good. Secondly, I go in with the Laura Mercier Tuxedo Caviar Eye Stick. This is basically a jumbo black eye pencil. I need to tight line my eyes. Tight lining is this skin underneath your lashes. And as you can see, like I have trichotillomania. Y'all been doing about that. If you don't, hi, hello, my name is Maritza. I have trichotillomania. It's, up. it's all good. And I just tight line. That way there's a little bit more definition to my lash line. Next, we're gonna go in with our Natasha Denona palette or any transition shades that you love. I actually start off with this shade right here, which is Gloom. And I go in with my LaRousse Beauty Angled Brush. It is such a perfect kind of like smoky shadow brush. Kind of get it on. And then I will just go in and smudge out my lash line. For this part, we're really just creating a template. The brush helps so much because of its shape. I can literally create this beautiful smoky wing in like five minutes, all thanks to the shape of this brush. And all I'm doing is I'm holding it in the area that I want and pulling inward. Literally all I'm doing, are you joking? And then I'm gonna go in with the fluffy brush from Larus Beauty and I'm gonna dip into this lighter gray, the smoky gray and back into the lighter gray. And I'm gonna hold the brush upside down and I'm gonna blend right on top of that liner that we laid. It's so easy, are you kidding? I'll take that brush again with a little bit more product and pull the smoky liner inwards. And once I have it to the desired shape that I like, I'm gonna take a little bit of that black shadow from the Natasha palette and follow up with my liner, but keep it super, super close to my lash line. And then with that same fluffy brush, I'll go right around the edges, make sure it's all nice and smooth. This is with no more product. I'm really, really happy with how that looks. It gives just a nice like, hey, She's awake, she put effort in, but I really didn't. I really didn't, no, 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 no. All right, now that I have my eyes all said and done, they look the way I want them to look. Shadow liner is also so much easier and quicker to clean up if you ever do mess it up um, than liquid liner. It's so much easier. <laughs> Question, why do we prime our face, prime our eyelids, prime our lips? but we don't prime our lashes. I thought about that the other day. I was like, hmm, conundrum. I love this primer. It does go on like your traditional white mascara primer, but I use it to create a barrier between my lashes and my mascaras. Again, because I have trichotillomania, a trigger for me is when my lashes feel like dry and crunchy. So I'm like, okay, how do I stop that? Mascara primer. So if you've been looking for a new mascara primer, Lash Food. Then a mascara that I have been gatekeeping, but I love her. It's the new one from Milk. I bought the mini size first, because I was like, I don't know if I can really like give my all into this. Um, I will be buying the full size. Yes. Even for like my nub of lashes, it just makes them look so full and fluffy and doesn't flake, it doesn't get crusty. And then if I want to keep layering it, I can. It just looks good. One of my, um, I'm happy I found it kind of lip liners. It's the BFF lip liner from ColourPop. It's so good. It is the perfect one of the perfect. I found a lot of perfect nudes and I'm really happy about it. But it's just a good overall lip liner. It goes on super smooth. And I just like the overall color and tone of it. To kind of stick with the running theme, I'm gonna take a little bit of that love something, what are you? Love cake. From Shein. I lip. It was a great look, I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. 
perfect. Are you joking? Are you joking? And then this new lip gloss I was sent by Essence. It's their Extreme Shine lip gloss. This is in the color Summer Punch. And I just top my lips off right in the center. And I'm good to go. All right, there you have it. This is my go-to everyday makeup routine and look and some tips and tricks um, that I personally do that makes me feel good and I don't need to do like a full beat, but I feel like I have on a full beat. So it's a good time. This is basically what I had on earlier. Smoky liners are not only great for if you're in a rush, but they're also great for if you're a beginner with winged liner. If you have a little bit more folds to your eye, a hooded eye, smaller eyes, the nines, I 10 out of 10 recommend starting off with shadow liner versus liquid liner. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed this video, but I hope if anything, you did your makeup or are going to go play in makeup after watching this and you do what you want and whatever makes you feel good. That's the most important part. So in lieu of that, thanks for watching. Thank you so freaking much for hanging out with me. This is great. I'm glad I have another video up. Make sure to like it. Subscribe to my channel again if you haven't already and drop a comment on what do you want to see next? Do I need to talk more about brows? Like what's the tea? Where's, what are we doing there? Do we need to talk about more products? Do we want some in-depth like skincare prep? Skincare prep for different skin types? Let me know. I can make something happen. Okay, but for real, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I love you so freaking much. Bye.